Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly and today I'm going to be starting my declutter series for 2016. This is the first time I've ever decluttered my collection. After unpacking everything from moving, I was really inspired to do this just to kind of tidy up my collection. I just feel like I just have too much of some things and not enough of others. So I just want to get like a kind of a census as to what I really have in my collection. I will be doing the products grouped together with other like products. Um, such as the first one will be primers, powders, and setting sprays, um, and then going forward with like foundations and BB creams, etc. There's going to be nine videos total in this series, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this in the style that Jam Beauty 89 filmed in. Um, I just really like the whole overview of looking at everything. And we're going to be starting with the face primers first. I'm just going to move these guys a little bit out of the way, and these are all the face ones. So starting with these little guys here. I wasn't totally sure if I was going to include sample sizes or not, um, but I'm going to include a few that I just want to touch on um, because I do either want to repurchase the full size or completely toss them out. So this first one here is the Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield. Um, this one has SPF 30. You get 0.17 fluid ounces, and I've used it a few times and it doesn't seem to be going down that much. Um, I really want to purchase the full size of this, so I wanted to just quick mention that. Um, so I will be keeping this little sample. The next little mini that I have right here is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is also something that I want to purchase the full size of. I received this in my Sephora Play Box, and I love this. This creates a really nice luminous glow. Um, and again, this is a really nice sample size at 0.20 fluid ounces. Moving on, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. Um, I really did not like this product. It just did not work for me. My foundation ended up separating a little bit from using this. Um, so this will be something I'm getting rid of. Um, anytime you see something with this red sticker on it, it does mean that I received it as gratis when I went at Sephora. So this is the CoverFX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. But this I love because it has the anti-acne treatment in it. Um, I could not use this while pregnant, so I had it like tossed aside. But now that, you know, baby's here, I can start using it again because I really, really enjoy this primer. I'm going to do these two together since they both are the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primers. I have the Smoothing Primer and I have the Hydrating. Uh, the biggest difference between these is the consistency. The Soothing, uh, excuse me, the Smoothing one has a thicker consistency that is closely mimicked by the Professional, if you're used to that guy. Whereas the Hydrating is a more liquidy. Primer. It's very much like putting moisturizer on your face. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there. The smoothing one has a much thicker consistency. These are primers I absolutely love, so I will be keeping them. Um, but I'm not going to repurchase them because there are some other primers that I do like a little bit better, such as the Mira and the Becca. And this guy, I talked about in my recent video um, using the Estee Edit products. This is the Pore Vanishing Stick. In the video, I said that I really didn't like this too much. Uh, I don't know, I'm still testing it out because <laughs> I have been using it. I don't know if I really noticed that much of a difference, but I will keep trying it out and it might end up in me getting rid of it very shortly. This is a very well-known product, the Benefit Professional. So I was so on the fence about this. I, I can't tell you the last time I actually picked this up and used it. It's probably been that long. Comparing it right now to the Makeup Forever Smoothie Primer, it is a lot um, it's not as thick, it's a little more liquidy, and I kind of like the thickness of the Makeup Forever one, so I think I'm actually going to be getting rid of this one, just because those two products are just so similar. This is the Locket Featherweight Primer from Kat Von D, as you can see it's all the way up here, I'm almost done using this. Once this is out completely, I am not going to be repurchasing this. I much prefer the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer over this, so I'm just going to be using this guy up and then not repurchasing. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing. Again, I got this as gratis. Um, I really do not like this at all. It, it balls up on my skin. It does not look pretty. So this is something I'm definitely getting rid of. So that is for face. Now I'm moving on to the eyes, which is this little guy right here. This is the Put a Lid on It Eyelid Primer from The Balm. I got this, I think, with one of the palettes 
don't really notice it that big of a difference when putting it on. So this is going to be going to be getting rid of pile. Here are two um, Lorac behind the scenes eye primers. Again, I don't really notice the difference. The big thing about these though, I do like the applicator tip on them, but I just, I don't know, I'm not really in love with them. They're not something I reach for, so these are going to go and get rid of pile. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma. This is the beautiful, oh I love this, the beautiful matte shade and I love when they change these to have the applicator in them. It is just a beautiful like skin tony matte shade and when you blend it onto your eyelid, uh, I just, I love it. <laughs> so uh, this is something I'm definitely keeping. I reach for this a lot. And then something that came as a surprise to me when I used it. I got this in some sort of box. I want to say it was BoxyCharm. Not sure, but this is the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. And it comes in like a little pot and it looks very similar to a matte paint pot. I really love this. This is actually, I use this more than the Urban Decay one. But I actually was over this and they do not move the entire day. It's, I don't know, it's amazing. Um, but this is one I'm definitely keeping and the amount of product in here, this literally could last you forever. So that is it for primers. Now I'm moving on to face powders. We're going from the bottom up. This is the MAC Studio Sculptifying Powder in Light Plus. <sighs> okay, so I got makeup done at the MAC store one time. I went there just to buy an eyeshadow brush pretty much and see if I could get matched in foundation there. So I did end up buying this. It doesn't go on nice. It just looks really cakey on my skin. I don't know. So I think I'm definitely going to be getting rid of this. And just to know anything like higher than like MAC, maybe the Smashbox Primer, I'm going to be putting on Poshmark. I will list my Poshmark link down below. It's just a an app and website that you can sell makeup on or clothes or anything, but I'm going to be selling that definitely online. Um, this is the Color Mates Pressed Powder in Rose Beige. I got this for my Dollar Tree haul. It's actually not that bad of a powder. It's lighter than the Light Plus, and it goes on pretty nice. It has that fake makeup smell, but well, it's a dollar, so what do you expect? But um, I'm not going to be keeping this. It, it may have face look too cakey. It was only a dollar, really. I'm not that attached to it. This little guy, I think this was, yeah, this is a sample. But this is Bare Minerals Medium Beige, the matte foundation. I'm just going to be giving this away to a family member. It's just not my shade. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Blemish Powder, and this is from their Blemish Kit. This is in the shade Sheer. It's not that bad. It's just, uh, I don't know. I just, I have too many powders. I just want to get rid of some of them. So this one, ooh, a little bit. I'm not going to be keeping this. I'm just going to give it away to somebody else that will probably use it. We have these two guys. This is the Artistry Exact Fit Perfecting a Loose Powder in Light. This was my holy grail powder until recently. <laughs> um, I love this. It's from a brand that's similar to like Mary Kay or um, uh, what's it called? Ava, where it's like you have to buy it through somebody. 25 grams of 0.9 ounces, which I thought was a lot. Um, considering it takes me a good half a year probably to go through this. <sighs> but I'm still going to keep it still going to use it up just because I do still like it. It has like light reflecting pigments in it which is really pretty so it does make your skin look a little bit glowy. But I'm just going to use this up and then no, not purchase it. Because this love is coming to my life. The RCMA No Color Powder. If you haven't heard of this, it's been on YouTube. It's been it's been around longer than people were reading about it on YouTube actually. This comes in three ounces. I got this for I think twelve ninety nine or eleven ninety nine, something like that on Beautylish. And it's I can't I can't tell you it's it's, just, it's amazing. You get so much product for so little money, and it goes on like a dream. It's beautiful. I I can't I can't even stop reading about it. It's, it's amazing. And we're moving on to the last category, which is setting sprays which is very very short so first product here is going to be the MAC Fix Plus the classic product I love this so I will be repurchasing this this little guy here I got is a sample um, I just wanted to include it because it is a really good um, setting spray that has SPF in it which is not many do this is from Supergroup it is the setting mist with rosemary not my favorite so I would not purchase the full size of this but it is something nice to have for summer to have the settings for the SPF. 
And then getting on to this guy, this is the Soleil All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. I got this on a 50% off sale, which I'm happy I did because I really, eh, I wanted to love this. And I do love it for its setting spray abilities. It does set your makeup and make you look really nice. Um, I have this in scent Lavender, which I don't recommend this scent. Very, very strong. It's almost overpowering when you put it on and kind of <laughs> take a step back. That being said, it's a decent setting spray. Uh, I would not pick it up for any less than 50% off. And also the spray nozzle on it, it shoots out very wide. So I've noticed I get it on my clothes and in my hair when I spray it. So you might want to not have your nice clothes on when you spray this. So all in all, I'm keeping 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14-ish. Um, products and then two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm getting rid of ten, which is really good because it's just like, bye bye. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for future videos. I will be putting out two of these decluttering videos a week, so be on the lookout for those. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.